Before placing the SpO2 module on the patient, choose which clip you would like to use. There is the reusable clip and the disposable clip. If you decide to use the disposable clips, make sure to select the appropriate size. There is a neonate and adult disposable clip, as well as infant and pediatric. Tip: Disposable clips tend to work better on patients that tend to move. It is very secure. After you have selected which clip is best for your patient, attach it to the SpO2 probe. When changing out the clips, be careful not to pull from the fiber optic part of the SpO2 probe. It is fragile and will break over time if continuously pulled. To change out the clips, pull from the hard plastic end and pull straight out. Then you will be able to snap in the clip you have chosen. The SpO2 clip goes on any finger you choose. Make sure the clip or disposable is secure. For the neonate, this can wrap around their foot or toe. Make sure you do not wrap too tightly and always check circulation. After you place the clip on the patient, be sure to look at the perfusion index number. If that number is higher than 0.3, that means you have a good connection. If it is not, you can try a different finger. Tips. Place the module on a cushioned surface such as a blanket or towel to minimize MR vibrations. Cover the hand that has the SpO2 on it with an opaque blanket to keep ambient light from affecting the reading. When storing the module after the case, make sure to store it downwards where the probe is hanging. Storing it upwards will stress the probe and eventually break it. Thank you.